Steven Universe and all associated images are property of Cartoon Network, Rebecca Sugar, and any and all respective owners. All footage and clips in this video have been used for parody slash critique and as such are protected under fair use. Please support their official release. What's up guys, this is Rocketbot, and welcome to another Steven Universe Theory. For the longest time, at least since the episode Sworn to the Sword, we've known that there were four diamonds. Yellow, blue, pink, and white. We first heard mention of the diamonds in the season 1 episode The Return, and since then found out about what happened to Pink Diamond, and have actually seen two of them within the show. We also know that the diamonds have their own ships with their own respective color, and each have a faction of gems that follow their every command. However, one thing that I've noticed has been bothering me for a while now. If Peridot and Jasper were a part of Yellow Diamond's faction, then why wasn't their ship yellow instead of green? Now, some may be quick to think that the color green is just used as a common homeworld color. But, we know that the kind of ships that homeworld first arrived on Earth in are not the same as the hand ships seen in the return in Jailbreak. So, why weren't those ships green as well? This makes me think that something has happened since the war on Earth to warrant this color change. I believe that since Pink Diamond's death on Earth, that another diamond was created to replace her. I believe that a new diamond called Green Diamond was created to balance out the group of four diamonds and to maintain their power over the other gems. Now, why do I think this? Well, in the episode Same Old World, we find out a bit more about Lapis's past and witness the explosion that corrupted the majority of gems on Earth. And if we take a closer look at the blast, we see three main colors. White, Yellow, and Green. Now, initially, I thought that this was just a mixture between Blue and Yellow Diamond's powers to make a green color, but since we know that Blue Diamond cared about Earth and Pink Diamond, it would make sense for her to not want to use her powers to help corrupt the planet. Thus explaining why we only see White and Yellow Diamond's colors, and then a new green color. So, does this mean that there was a new diamond created to help with the diamond's corruption attack? It also makes sense because the moon base was likely constructed before Pink Diamond's death, so it could help explain why we don't see a mural of Green Diamond alongside the others. Also, on the new Diamond logo we see only three triangles for Blue, Yellow, and White Diamond. However, if we look in the background we see a much larger Green Triangle. So, I think that this new green diamond may be the most powerful or influential of all the diamonds because she is the newest and possibly the strongest of the remaining four, explaining why she has the biggest triangle. This explains why the common era 2 ship is colored green, because with the creation of green diamond there may have been a huge renaissance of technology separating the old era 1 tech from the superior era 2 tech. This also helps to explain why Lapis was so worried about how much things on Homeworld had changed in the Season 1 episode, The Message. So, what do you guys think? Is there a new powerful diamond called Green Diamond? Let me hear what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. If you were like or subscribe, I would certainly appreciate it, and I'll see y'all in the next one.